I would love to sit out tonight and just look at this view. Yeah, or even in the morning, mm -hmm. you could, because we this is a uh, oh a.m. <laughs> yes, well, I'll tell you what, either a.m. or p.m. These are nice views, and we got some a.m. and p.m. and some evening nice views this evening in our 906 Weather Watchers page. We're actually going to go back a few days here. Haley Thomas, let me post this on the 906 Weather Watchers page. Squall Beach, Big Bay here, just a beautiful view there. And you can see the uh, pre-dawn hours, just beautiful and some waves on the lake as well. Thanks, Haley, for sending that. And let's take you to Presque Isle Park. I got this last night. You can see the sun setting just behind Sugarloaf Mountain there. And I'm on the west end of the island there. And we do have some clouds around. Just a beautiful photo there. And as we go to some other awesome photos here, Kevin Dunham, this morning here, Munising Bay. There's the sun coming up here, just gorgeous there. You also got the sunset, Becca. Check this out here from around the Munising area. You can see a beautiful sunrise from Kevin and also a beautiful sunset as well. Thanks, Kevin, for sending those two photos in. And then Paul K. Peterson, he, we got three photos from him. This first one is from Grand Marais. You can see the harbor there. You can see the road there. There's the beach, and then there's the U.S. Coast Guard and the lighthouse there out in the distance. And then here's all Grand Marais right here. Beautiful green up there around the Grand Marais area. So definitely they're ready for summer in Grand Marais here, and I think we're all ready for summer there. Thanks, Paul, for sending in that beautiful drone shot there of Grand Marais and also the Grand Marais Harbor. But He's also got a cam at his place around the Grand Marais area and check out what he caught on his cam. It's right behind you and it looks like it's a black bear that is out and about there mm -hmm. during the overnight hours in the Grand Marais area or just a little ways outside of Grand Marais. You can see that black bear hanging out, walking around by Paul's place. And then check this out. A little bit too close for oh, the camera yeah. there. <laughs> you can, I'm not sure what, I think the deer just wanted to get right up in yeah. on the camera shot there. I think the deer, if it would have backed away, mm -hmm. it would have had a great shot as well. <laughs> but the deer really wanted Paul to know that it was on his property and got right up at the camera. But thanks for the bear shot and also the close-up deer shot <laughs> Paul got there with this cam. Thanks for sharing that to our 906 Weather Watcher photos. All right, we should be going to Scandia. Nope, we're going to Nagani next. Kathy Cardone, beautiful bird shot as always in Nagani. Thanks, Kathy. Now we're going to Scandia. Patty Leighton of Scandia yesterday sent this in. You can see some high cirrus clouds there on in the sky there just a beautiful day and we're going to have some beautiful days coming up here this weekend but we're going to warm things up but like i've been mentioning during my weather becca the dry days are ending on up so we're going to need some rain but in the meantime get on out and enjoy it Hard to believe three weeks ago we were dealing with a winter storm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we can sit back and laugh about that now, but this is just beautiful. After three, three and a half weeks ago, we were dealing with some nasty weather around here. So thanks, Patty, for getting that, for getting that shot of the sky. And we're going to wrap it up tonight. We're going to wrap it up this week with Charlie. Our boy. <laughs> yes, I was trying to get a video on the other night here with Charlie, but I got a still frame of the video there and got it on to our our my um, show rundown here and you can see Charlie looks like he's leading the way out in the woods there. I think he and Terry are out for a walk there, but you can see the green up there. looks like everything's greening up nicely in Scandia Township. Looks like Charlie's enjoying a nice day out and I hope Charlie enjoys the weekend. Also Patty and Terry as well. It's like it's looking like it's shaping up to be a weather weekend with no weather issues. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page on Facebook, feel free to join. We'd love to see your Memorial Day photos. We'll catch up on them on Tuesday. Feel free to check it out and feel free to join. All right, let's go to our current temperatures right now. You can see temperatures are ranging from the 40s in the eastern UP and even closer to Lake Michigan. 42 for Manistique, but we're still at 60 for Munising, 58 Sawyer International, and 60 for Houghton. 68 degrees for Ironwood. Tonight for the Marquette area, we're looking at 47 degrees, 38 for Escanaba and Gladstone, 38 for Iron Mountain, and 47 degrees for Houghton and Hancock. Next seven days look like this, 76 Saturday, 76 on Sunday, close to that 80 degree mark on Monday, and then we're into the 80s for Monday and Tuesday, definitely warming up. For Escanaba and Gladstone, 66 Saturday, 67 Sunday, and then upper 60s, lower 70s for the early to middle part of next week, but it's going to be much warmer as you go 
inland, especially west towards Bark River. As we go westward towards Iron Mountain and Kingsford, we'll have 80 degrees on Saturday, 81 on Sunday, 83 on Monday, and then upper 80s, maybe around 90 for Tuesday, and also for the daytime on Wednesday. And then for Houghton and Hancock, 75 degrees for your Saturday, 73 on Sunday, and then we'll check in on Monday at 75 degrees, and then upper 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday, it may be a touch cooler near some parts of the Keweenaw Bay shoreline or perhaps the Lake Superior shoreline. Weather anytime throughout the weekend. If you need weather updates throughout the weekend, you can always head to our webpage, upmatters.com.